Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Sterling Lede. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, and we're here with your daily announcements. The 2022-2023 yearbook is on sale for $90. You can get one by scanning the QR code on screen. Tonight at 7 p.m., there will be an informational meeting for, Jap for the Japan summer trip in 2024. The meeting will cover co details like cost, activities, and academic opportunities. The, virtual me the meeting is virtual, so sign up by using the link in the Wolfpack newsletter or by scanning the QR code. Now we're going to pass it on over to Nisha and Ethan to see what's going on in the world of entertainment. Hello Wolfpack and welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen and today let's dive in some news. First things first, the Super Bowl happened on Sunday and the most important part of the Super Bowl are the commercials. Yep, there are so many cool commercials but in my opinion, my absolute favorite has to be the Breaking Bad Pop Quarters commercial. I might be biased on this because Breaking Bad is probably one of my favorite shows but I honestly wasn't expecting that to be a collaboration. I like the little bit with Tuco. In my personal opinion, I like the tight, tight part. Speaking of the Super Bowl, the halftime show was the return of Rihanna, who was performing on a Smash Bros. arena, and the, perform and the performance was okay, in my opinion, but I'm glad she's back. On to video game news, Bloon Tower Defense 6 has gained popularity recently. Maybe because streamers are getting a little wave of nostalgia. Minecraft has a new update for our 1.2 and what they are have what they have are hanging signs, armor customization, a new mob called the Sniffer, and finally they added cherry blossoms. So if you were lonely for Valentine's Day, you can now have a Minecraft boyfriend or girlfriend to pull. Okay, and a message to all Dan TDM fans. He's taking a break from Minecraft to focus on his personal life. He'll post occasionally and post more on other channels, so make sure you check those out. You will be missed. Well, we're all out of time. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Bye-bye. Thanks, y'all. Ms. Barrett, Mr. McCurdy, Mr. Brown, and Mr. McCracken are hosting a Ask Me Anything live stream today on YouTube from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. The live stream is a safe place to ask questions anonymously. To attend the meeting, please scan the QR code on the screen or look up COHS AMA on YouTube. Let's check out what some of the hype members have to say about their upcoming showcase, World of Fantasy. Hi, my name is Taylor Pincomb. I'm a junior and this is my third year in hype. Hi, I'm Sofia Casada. I'm a senior and this is my third year in hype. Hi, I'm Andrew Yang. I'm a junior and this is my second year in hype. Hi, I'm Joshua Armoro. I'm a senior and this is my third year in hype. And we're your student directors. Honestly, we've been working really hard for these past couple of months and we're just really excited to show what we got. The piece I'm most excited for everyone to see is probably my piece, A Galaxy Far, Far Away, because it's based on one of the most famous sci-fi movies of all time and I think a lot of people will get excited about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. The piece I'm excited about is the trio of porcelain and I just really like it. We've been working really hard and it has a really cool story and like intense like song yeah. yes. yes okay my favorite piece or what piece i'm most excited to show this year is definitely a sailor's desire which is a piece that i've been working with with isabel and gabby two of our other dancers here in hype and the reason for that is because it's really high energy and it switches kind of like tones throughout the dance so i think it'll be a really cool switch for people to see my favorite piece is probably Friend or Foe because honestly, I can't say much about it. You guys just have to see, but that plot twist in the middle is crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> well, I would say that Hype is definitely all about connection and also showcasing our talents. All of our dancers have great abilities, obviously, of dancing, and I feel like our team has really, really bonded this year, and you'll definitely be able to see that throughout our show. See, See you at the show. At the show. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was great. That was great. <laughs> Dang, those are some nice moves, guys. I think I recognize someone. That's crazy. This Friday, BSU will be hosting a movie night in the MP room from 5 to 8. They'll be watching Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Now it's time to see what our jocks have to say over in sports. Take it away, Darren and Jonah.
What's up, Wolfpack? I'm the jock, Darren Francis. And I'm the sort of not jock, Jonah Mercado. And welcome back to sports. In school sports news, updates on women's basketball. Last Friday, they won their senior night game against Pleasant Grove. Let's watch it now. Great music, Jonah. You guys know he made that? Last night, they won their playoff game against El Capitan 46-34. Great job. Yeah, and in boys soccer, they won their way into the playoffs against PG. What a great game that was for our seniors. They also won their playoff game with Cor against Cordova in a goal shootout. It was very intense. Let's wish them luck moving forward into their next games. The Super Bowl happened this weekend, and it was a crazy game. Yeah, the Eagles had the Chiefs on their toes going back and forth all the first half, especially Jalen Hurts' running style and their great offensive line headed by Jason Kelsey. But the Chiefs are never to be underestimated, with Patrick Mahomes playing on his bad ankle and absolutely feeding it to Travis Kelsey. Let's also not underappreciate Juju Smith-Schuster and linebacker Nick Bolton, who recovered a fumble for a touchdown. Yeah, crazy first half. The halftime show, in my opinion, was not that entertaining. Sorry, Rihanna fans, don't come for me. Back to the action. The game ended pretty fast after that, with the Chiefs mounting a recovery and scoring with a winning point with a field goal. And that wraps up the NFL this year. <sighs> but in NBA news, the power rankings of Celtics, Bucks, and Nuggets remain the same. Well, I'm Jonah. And I'm Darren. See you, See you all, all next, next week. week. Thanks, guys, and that's all we have for you this week. I'm Damon Ramos. Today. <laughs> I'm Sterling Lede. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Singles, Singles Awareness Day, Day Wolf Pack. pack.